to the senior band class of 2021. On behalf of mankind and all of society, I'd like to apologize for the last 14 months. Uh, we'll talk about Mother Nature trying to eat us in a little bit, but I figured I would start off by addressing that right off the bat. Congratulations. You deserve a hearty round of applause. Assuming that applause hasn't been cancelled yet, hashtag cancel clapping, I'm certain all of you are breathing a maskless sigh of relief, and you have certainly earned it. I am happy to be here with you as your final word of band nerdiness for your high school music career. Yes, it's over. Rejoice. I hope you've enjoyed playing your instruments as much as I have enjoyed listening to you all play your instruments. However, there comes a time when you have to turn in your rented horn, uncleaned of course, and move forward. Obviously, some of you are going to try to become band directors, and I hate to tell you that that position and that job occupation will not exist in five years. Everybody's running for the hills. I wish you all for the I wish you all the best of luck, but you better learn how to write drill or arrange hot cross buns as a Latin jazz closer or something. For those of you who are going to do something completely different, you are braver than you think. The transition from knowing exactly what you are going to do every Friday night football or Saturday night contest in the fall to not having anyone tell you where to be at warm-up is a rough one. Being a part of band has taught you that you can be really good at something by simply putting the time in. There are tangible brainwaves scientifically measured that say music is good for the brainwaves and brain soul. Whatever. This whole time concept works in other facets of life too. Your professional life, your personal life, your diabolical life, it all works. The question now is how will you put those efforts, those skills to work? <sighs> Let's be very honest here. You've learned absolutely nothing from any other class than band. I'm serious. You've learned absolutely nothing. Go ahead. Go ahead and try to recite the quadratic formula without bleeding from your eyes. It's impossible. You already forgot it. I'm 36 years old. Some of you are like, whoa, what an old fart. I'm 36 years old and I still use my band skills today. I still roll my feet when I need to keep my balance. Trust me, it comes in handy when I'm carrying the tray at Luby's. My standing posture is best out of all 100,000 employees at HEB. And I can eat dinner sitting down on any surface. 100, 150 degree practice lot, not a problem at all. My butt's right on the ground. By the way, where's that smoke coming from? Whether you realize it or not, you've made lifelong friends. You will tell your children about them. You will tell your grandchildren about them. Some of you were very quick to put up the deuces with two middle fingers to your high school, but do not overlook all the good things that have happened over the past four years. You will learn that the more you dismiss people, ideas, thoughts, and places, the lonelier you become. So try not to box yourself in too much. I want you to stop what you're doing right now and thank your parents. You don't have to tell them I told you to do it or why you are doing it. Just go give them a hug and say thank you. Now be warned, by doing this, you will scare the hell out of them. They will immediately ask what you did wrong and where you buried the body. Do not respond to them, just walk away chuckling. When I graduated high school, I went up to my parents and I thanked them. I said, thank you so much for staying out of my way. I know you had zero interest in my music and I literally had to pay you $50 to attend a Christmas concert. Thank you for letting me figure out all this stuff on my own and not interfering. By the way, I appreciate you leaving me a pile of oak outside my door so I can make some oboe reeds. Seriously though, your parents did more for you than you give them credit for. Thank them and mean it. Okay, seniors, let's talk about the last 14 months. I want you to remember what it felt like in the March of last year. We were scared beyond belief. Lots of questions. Where did all the toilet paper go? I work for HEB and I promise you we're still trying to figure that one out. Do I get a concert season? Do I get a solo ensemble season? Do I get a marching season? Where the F is my marching season? Now remember what it felt like when you jumped on that Zoom call in the middle of summer. Most of you had very different experiences during this last school year. But you all had just two sides of the Zoom call. Yes or no? Yes, we'll try to go to UIL marching contest and have as normal a season as possible. 
No, we'll just go to football games and attempt to make this fall as fun as possible. Elation, cautiousness, disappointment, anger. Very few of you have have experienced that many emotions at the same time. Believe me that I know it can be very overwhelming. For those who got to experience a competitive season last fall, you deserve congratulations. That was a very tough thing for you to do. However, you must show gratitude to every single person who made it possible. Every administrator, every parent, every director, every tech, everybody. One wrong move and the whole thing could have gone off the rails. I hope you realized through this whole year that nobody gets to where they are by themselves. You got to have people in your corner. For those of you who experienced something a little different last fall, I hope that the sting and bitterness from that decision has left your heart. Do not let that moment haunt you. I know exactly what it is like to lose sleep at night thinking about what could have been. I hope you were able to deal with the past year in as healthy a manner as possible. To say that your final year of high school band was a weird one is a complete understatement. Some of you played your horn in front of a computer all year. Some of you showed up to school simply to play your horn before heading back home. And some of you were at school the entire time for some reason. But you know what was always there ready for you to come back? The band hall. You ate there, you played there, you got in trouble there, you started relationships there, you ended relationships there, your brains exploded there, you hid from the world there, and you showed up to be seen there. The band hall was a structure that you got to call your own. It was yours. No one else was allowed in. Why? No, not because Waco, but because those fools on the outside didn't sign up for band. But most importantly, it was because they simply wouldn't have been able to understand what it felt like to be there. It was your kitchen table and it was your therapy couch. It was everything you needed. It was your home. And now your dues have been paid. And it's time to leave home. You want to know the cool thing? Because of the skills you've learned from being in band and the relationships you've forged, you get to build your own band hall. It will not be easy. And it's going to take a while to build. But you get to design it however you want. The people you want in there. The ideas you've dreamed of. Take advantage of this opportunity. But please understand that you will need help. Do not be afraid. Do not be ashamed to ask for help. No one, not you or I, does it alone. I want to thank you for your music these last four years. You've helped me through very difficult times. That might sound a little bit weird, but I promise you it's true. This activity is my escape from everyday life. This activity is my comfort zone. I find great solace and joy in this activity. And you have brought great joy to my life. I will never forget that and I will never forget you. I wish you all the best of luck in the future. Like Gallagher said, remember that if you do a good deed, just get a receipt. In case heaven is like the IRS, buy a cast iron skillet and treat it well. And always, always, always take care of the ones you love. Congratulations, band class of 2021. Take care. Adios. Bye-bye.